Good evening, everyone. My name is Danamai underscore 41. Nothing I say in this video or any video I make is or ever will be financial advice. So please don't take it as such. Take it as my opinion and I am entitled to my opinions. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about how the gaming industry is just uh, growing and it will continue to be a powerhouse over time as far as the industry goes. It's outperforming the music and entertainment industry as well like movies and such and I just wanted to show you all some projections on those numbers or those um, statements that I just made so at what rate is the gaming industry growing so according to the uh, fortune business insights the global gaming market is projected to grow from 229.16 billion dollars in 2021 to 545.98 billion dollars in 2028 so you know a good increase of you know the at a CAGR and basically that's the compound annual growth rate of 13.20 percent in the forecast period 2021 to 2028 so as you can see, there's a lot of growth ahead of the gaming industry. And how big is the gaming industry compared to other industries? So basically, um, let's look at some of the big video games right here. Or one of the big video games right here, I should say. Grand Theft Auto V. Um, they made $6 billion in gross earnings. And biggest movie, you know, for a while was Avatar. And they made $2.8 billion. In their industry so you could already see there's a big difference between the two industries as far as you know how much they made gross and um, gaming industry versus entertainment industry revenue as per Statista the gaming industry generates more revenue annually than filmed entertainment and industry and music industry revenue combined estimated global Revenue from video games, books, filmed entertainment, and recorded music in 2021. So this chart right here is all from 2021. Of course, I mean, video games did have these two industries beat around that time frame due to the fact that COVID, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that on YouTube, was still fresh. So that could be a reason why the difference is more significant. But even after COVID, I still think that difference will be significant only because there's always a new gamer born every day. Um, I mean, you have to replace your gaming controls, mics, headsets at some point, especially if you're a, you know, a daily gamer. So, and just to go ahead and go to the conclusion of this uh, little article right here. Favored by Gen Z and Millennials, the gaming industry has seen significant growth in the last few years and is also expected to continue the rapid growth at a compound annual growth rate of 13.5%. Furthermore, the male gender dominance in the market is also disappearing, with 48% of total gamers in the USA being female in 2022. So there are more female gamers being born every day. So makes it more diverse. That just shows me that there's a lot of growth in the gaming industry as a whole. Makes me happy. And GameStop will be in the forefront of that. And compared to the entertainment industry, the gaming industry generated more revenue than the Hollywood and music industry combined. As you can tell on this chart right here, this was uh, from 2021. So still doing really well so it is indeed a great time to invest in the gaming industry if you are looking forward to it and there you have it you know there's a lot of different avenues that you could go as far as investing into the uh, gaming industry or just investing in general um i have an avenue for myself i mean you don't have to take this avenue um I could show you off. Y'all want to look at it? It's this avenue. It's GameStop. It's currently trading at seventeen dollars and nine cents in the after-hours overnight trading hours market, 
and it is currently 11.52 p.m., and it is the 20th of December. We are five days away from Christmas. This video might be posted on the 21st, but, you know, it is what it is. This is a late one. I just wanted to say that um, this dip is lovely. I mean, considering the fact that um, <clears throat> we were literally at this price point, you know, pretty much where we're at right now, that's where we were at in September. And the fact that we made it back up there in like less than a month says a lot. So I'm happy with the technicals as far as that goes. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope, I hope everyone, everyone is ready, ready for, Santa for Santa to arrive. I did not mean for Reddit to ruin that. But I just wanted to end off with the bullish flag. My week is not done with yet, so we got um, Friday. We got Thursday and Friday still, so let's see how things go. And yeah, I think it's going to get juicy up here in this area once it gets to the uh, uh, 19th of January 2024 because of those call options right here. Let's not forget about these, baby. Woo! 18000 in the money so far, so we'll see what's up. But um, anyways, that was just a quick video on why I believe the gaming industry is going to continue growing and it's going to continue thriving and you can't really stop it. And just like the bottom of this article says, so it is indeed a great time to invest in the gaming industry if you are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And I think you should too. But that's it for the night. I'll probably go live tomorrow since I'm off. But I'm also going home for the weekend for, well, going home for the weekend for the holidays. This is a bit longer video than usual, but you know what it is. Y'all have a happy holiday, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.